Welcome, 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 fellow pirates, to another Sea of Thieves video. In this video, I would like to cover how to do voyages. There are many places you can buy voyages. These are by talking to Duke in the bar. Depending on what the update is that Rare has issued, Duke will have different voyages available. Here we see the Reaper's Grave for Shipwreck Bay Voyage, the Legendary Reaper Grave for Shipwreck Bay Voyage, and a Sea Post to Sea Post Voyage. Any voyages that have Reapers in the title require you to put up the Reaper's flag before voting on the voyage. To put up the Reaper's flag, you must climb up to the Crow's Nest. In the crow's nest you will see a ship flag box. Opening the ship flag box will give you a selection of flag. The flag of the reaper's mark is this one. Selecting it will fly a flag with a bright red skull on it. The reaper's flag means you are visible on the map table. To propose a voyage, find the voyage table in your ship. Proposing a voyage will give you a selection of voyages that you are already carrying. Putting a voyage down does not make it automatically active. You have to vote on it to make it active. If you have more than one crew member, then multiple crew members may have to vote on a voyage. On a brig, two crew members are required to vote on a voyage. On a galleon, three crew members are required to vote on a voyage. When you have voted on a voyage, it will appear in your wheel. By selecting it in the wheel, you will see the map or scroll associated with the voyage. Looking at the map, you will see a particular layout of the island. Don't try and line up the A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 that you see on the scroll with what you see on the map table, because you will not find the island in that location. You'll notice on the map as you move around a small dot in the center. This is used simply to mark an island so that all your crew can see the island that you need to go to. Other than that, it doesn't have any other effect. In some cases, I would recommend not marking the island, especially if you're boarded by a crew. They will be able to see where you're going. On every dock in the Sea of Thieves, you have a merchant that sells merchant voyages. The Merchant Alliance sells different kinds of voyages. If the voyages appear with a padlock on them, they are not available to you. This usually means that you have too many voyages in your possession already. Each voyage is either paid for with doubloons, which is the blue coin, or with gold. On every outpost, there is this vendor, the Order of Souls. Talking to an Order of Souls NPC will allow you to get more voyages. Order of Souls voyages usually require you to collect the skull of pirates or crew. The difference can be seen in your reputation. You have this option to 180 skeleton crews. This number may change depending on your level. On every outpost there is also this tent, which is the tent for the gold hoarders vendors. Browsing the Gold Hoarders vendors, you will find maps. Again, comparing these to the maps on the map table in the ship, you will find out where you need to go. The final vendor can be found at sea posts. This is a sea post on the horizon. At any sea post, you can hand in fish, megalodon meat, shark meat, kraken meat, and gems. Any of the meats have to be cooked. These meats can be found in shipwreck barrels, as well as floating barrels, or by killing creatures, whether that be megalodon, kraken, shark, chicken, or pig. All of the vendors on the sea posts are related to a character called Merrick. So thanks for checking us out, everybody. That's how you do voyages. Hopefully that'll help you out. Happy sailing! Tra la la bums ye, tra la la bums ye, tra la la bums ye, tra la la bums ye. Y'all take care.